Shalom, brothers and sisters. May the peace of our Lord Yeshua HaMashiach be with you. We know that the schemes of the devil need to be known by us. One of the major jobs of our devil is to accuse. Remember, the devil came to kill, to steal, and to destroy. So, the devil goes to God and accuses. He tells God a lot of things concerning us. Remember, there are judges in heaven. God is there also. When you read, when you read the book of Job, you will find out that the devil can tell God stories only for him, for the devil, to see if he can win you. But we as human beings, do we help the devil to accuse? Have you ever been a victim of being accused? Have you ever accused anyone? Maybe you know, maybe you don't know. When we accuse others to God, we are wrong. We tell God that my brother or my sister, my mother, my father, whoever has done this and this. So we expect God to take, to take action against such people. We are doing something wrong. Never do such a thing. There are procedures which we are supposed to follow when your brother or your sister wrongs you. And when you talk of a brother or a sister, we don't necessarily mean those blood relatives. It means people around you, maybe your fellow colleagues in church. The book of Matthew, chapter 18, <clears throat> we start with verse 15 to 17. It is written, If your brother or sister sins, go and point out their fault between you and him that's two of you if he listens to you you have one over them so between two of you first he can listen but if they will not listen take one or two others along so that every matter may be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses so if that person does it listen take two or three witnesses. So, the Bible here, it is quoting the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 19, verse 15. So, if they still refuse to listen, tell it to the church. And if they refuse to listen, even to the church, treat them as you would a pagan or a tax collector. So, in short, if they don't listen, treat them as a pagan or a tax collector. But before you do all those procedures, don't go to God directly Tell me, God, please do pi kindly punish this or that person. That is, that means you are an accuser. Some cases are very difficult for us to handle, especially if you are a weak Christian or you are a weak, you have a weak faith. You will be wrong and you tell God kindly take action. Kill this person. Don't blame this person. You become a co-accuser with the devil. You are helping the devil do his job. Especially if you think you are very innocent and you find somebody is accusing you wrongly. There is high possibility you tell God to punish this person. We are helping the devil. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 12, verse 6, there is a time when Jeremiah was complaining. Now God is reminding him something else. God is telling Jeremiah, in chapter 12, verse 6, you are relatives, members of your own family. That was a very close relative. Even they have betrayed you. They have raised a loud cry against you. Do not trust them, though they speak well of you. So, Jeremiah was being accused by his own people. But remember, what God is saying here is like he didn't expect this thing from the relatives of Jeremiah. When you find yourself in a fix, just go to God to seek advice. Just tell Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, Lord the Messiah, 
to guide you. Those are two different things. You can be wronged, yes, but don't accuse. If the case is very difficult for you, for sure the Holy Spirit will guide you. Don't rush in prayers. Calm down fast. Don't make hasty harsh, harsh decisions. Jesus knows very well, without the Holy Spirit, we can't succeed. We can't do anything. That's why even he told his people, he will send the Holy Spirit. His disciples received the Holy Spirit during Pentecost. Even now, we are receiving the Holy Spirit. It never stopped there. The Holy Spirit is there to help us. Such cases can be very tight, very tough, but the Holy Spirit will give us. He will send the Spirit of forgiveness. Because sometimes we accuse our brothers and sisters because we do not forgive. Forgiveness is a spirit. Forgiveness is expensive. So be expensive. Let us not help the devil to do his job. The book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 10, it is written, Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now, have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah for the accuser, now the, the devil now, for the accuser of our brothers and sisters who accuses them before our God day and night has been hurled down. So the end game of this accuser is hell is the lake of burning fire we should not help the devil accuse god's people we should not help the devil accuse our brothers and sisters accusation goes to god every time even when we pray the devil is there listening he will tell god this or that when you tell god please i have this disease let it heal. The devil can tell God, no, do not heal him. Do not heal her. If you heal her, remember what you said. So you want to be healed. The devil tells the Lord, you had aborted some time back. You ask for money. The devil tells God that yesterday you had lied to somebody. You pray. For you to arrive safely, maybe you are in a journey. The devil tells the Lord you had been a rapist. You pray for your parents. But the devil tells, tells the Lord this person does it sing and worship in church. You pray for a house. The devil tells the Lord you do not teeth, you don't give 10%. You pray for your marriage. The devil tells the Lord no, this person looked at a lady lustfully. Now this is the devil. How about you? How about us? Are we helping the devil? Sometimes we over accuse. We tell God, remember, this teacher is the one who made me fail in school. That's why my life is this and this. Kindly check her. Check him. Maybe one day we, you bribe a police. You tell God, I never wanted to, to bribe the police. But remember, it is the driver who was going at a high speed, who was over speeding. And that's why I had to break the police. So God check the driver. You are your accuser. Maybe it's your boss who made you sin. And you tell God, remember it is my boss who told me he will promote me. That's why I slept with him. Maybe if you are a lady. Now you are reporting the boss to God. Not to seek help, but for God to take action. You tell God, oh, I wanted to abstain. But remember, it's this lady who gave me alcohol and she made me give in. Kindly check. You tell God, oh, look, this is our pastor. He seduces women. And Lord, you never said, you usually said you, you, they should be pay, pay faithful or we should be faithful. So you go to an extent of quoting Bible verses to justify your accusation, to justify God to take action. You are a co accuser with the devil. You tell God, oh, it is so and so who impregnated the daughter to our cousin. Remember, God, this is a thief. Remember, Lord, this person never paid his debt last week. Kindly do this and that. So you are telling God to take action. Let us not be co-accusers. 
Let us ask the Holy Spirit to guide us when we found our we find ourselves in a fix. Let us ask for forgiveness. Let us not push God to take action. Because God says the avengers is mine. So do not revenge. Let the Lord revenge. Do not pray for your brother and sister to die. Do not pray for your brother and sister to have issues, even if you have issues yourself. Let God do take action himself. If you want to take action against your brother or your sister, that is fine. It is him, not you. When you see those who wronged you prosper and you don't have forgiveness, don't have that spirit of forgiveness, for sure you will tell God he is unfaithful. He is unfair, not unfaithful, unfair. Let us ask God for his righteousness. Because if we don't do that, and we see other people prospering, and maybe those the same same people you accuse, we invite the spirit of jealousy. And remember, when the spirit of jealousy comes, it's easy for you to become a, a witch. Let us be careful, even in our prayers, so that we realize we should not accuse our brothers and sisters. Yes, if you have a burden, you have been burdened by your people around, it's good, it's good to ask for forgiveness, but not telling God to take action against those people. That is a spirit of bitterness. We should never feel more righteous than the other. Because sometimes we accuse our brothers and sisters, and yet they have already repented, and yet God had already forgiven them, and God doesn't remember their sins anymore. So we are the ones who are reminding God that these people had sinned, these people had wronged us. Let us ask for mercy. Let us ask for favor from the Lord. Because some of these things we get because of favor, not because of our works, not because of the law. It is God's favor. God gives mercy to everybody. The level of mercy is varied from one person to the other. So it is our duty to ask for mercy, to ask for God's favor, and to ask for his righteousness, then the spirit of condemnation will not have part of in us. And may Lord guide us in everything we do. And may we pray against the spirit of condemnation. And may God give us the spirit of forgiveness. And let us not accuse each other. May the Lord bless you.